Hello there, this is Lynn Allen coming to you with another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. And I'm coming to you from freezing California, even though of course California is not supposed to be freezing. Hello. <laughs> I hope wherever you are in the world is much warmer than it is here. So the tip that I'm going to share with you today has to do with tables. So if you use a lot of tables, I think you're going to love this tip. So of course I have a drawing file with a table on it. it makes it much easier to demo tables, right? <laughs> At the very bottom of the table, you will see this grip. It's a light blue grip in the shape of a triangle. And if I hover over it, you're going to see table breaking active on there. Oh, what does that mean? Well, that means that I can click on that grip and I can actually create more than one column for this table. And you'll see the shorter that I make the column, of course, you're going to see the further the, the further off, of, off the page is going to go and the more columns are going to, that are going to show up. See that? All right. So let's make them somewhere, I don't know, in the middle, something kind of like that. You'll see why in a minute. So I have three different columns of my table. Of course, I probably want the headers across the top, right? You don't want to have the headers just on the first column. So to do that, I'm going to go over to properties. And this is where you're going to, going to find all things table breaks. All right, so I'm going to come down here to the very bottom of properties and you'll see a section for table breaks. So the first thing that's incredibly important is you have to have table breaks enabled. You'll see I have that on to yes. That makes sense, right? Otherwise, none of this is going to happen. You also have control of the direction. You'll notice that mine went off to the right, but you could have had the columns go off to the left or even underneath. So nice little visual there for you. And I, of course, want to repeat the top labels. I'm going to turn that to yes, and that looks a little bit more like it, right? As you can see, they're not quite even. I might want to manipulate those a little bit to get them a little bit more even, but it certainly is on the right track. So back to table breaks, a few other things you can do. You can repeat bottom labels. Um, you can manually control the spacing on here. So for example, if I change this to 30 and you watch the screen, you will see that they got a little bit further apart, right? Okay, the larger the number, the further apart they're going to be. You can also manually control this. It's completely up to you. There's a lot of ways you can control this. I'm going to, for example, come over here and manually control the height. So this isn't just for um, the first column. It's for individually manipulating the different columns for your table. So I'm going to say I want to manually control the height. I'm going to say yes. Okay, so now if I come out to my tables, you can see that I can come over here and make this one longer. You can see that's going to change the last column, right? <laughs> make it shorter. That means the last column is going to get even longer, right? So there's a variety of things that you can do as far as the, the table grips now are on all three of the columns. So you can manipulate them accordingly. All right. You can also see you can come in here and hit these grips here to make modifications as well. All right. So try table breaks. Table breaks are awesome and they're super easy and they've been there for many releases of AutoCAD. You probably just didn't know about it, but now you know. It's our secret. Okay. And anybody else who watches the video. So thank you so much for joining me. Stay warm and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. And hey, happy holidays.